this game does really good. Like, I'm just realizing I kind of like had a like a take a step back like moment just now of thinking because I I, I kind of like thinking about like what yeah. this game is now like, versus so to eight years ago. And I know I don't have that experience, but like I like to figure out like, hey, why is this game so popular? Why did why did everybody like this game when it first came out? And why do people why did people talk about this the entire time until we got the switch release just now? And I really like. I'm really impressed with how well they wrote the beginning of this to get you not only like on the base level to start thinking about these things, but also like you're kind of they they like kind of they throw you into the mystery pretty quickly and you're almost immediately interested because they throw you enough things. They keep throwing you answers, but they also th keep throwing you questions. And and I've said this before. I for something else, I don't remember. Um, but, uh, God, I don't remember what I used, what I said this for before, but I said this in, in storytelling, when you want to do a mystery style thing and you want to lead people along, I think I said this for when, um, Odd Taxi came out. So it might've been a while ago, but, um, when you do a story and it, it is a, it, it in itself needs to constantly hide information in order to like provide some sort of interest aka like in a mystery sort of way usually you want one big mystery to be held one or two big mysteries right like this big thing that you're supposed to figure out but it's good for you to write little mysteries as you go along right so people's powers could be little mysteries this is a little mystery right as you go along you discover these things and so you're getting but you're also writing new things right so like you learned about makoto's power but you also learned that there's somebody who's doing this without power so you've learned something and you've also have a new question and you keep doing that until you get to the very end and the very end you answer all the questions uh, that are left right and that makes the that in my opinion creates real interest in the reader player whatever your whatever the media is trying to do because it gives you the ability to constantly think about what's happening and then also keep people's interests at the same time you're not really introduced to any of these characters i would say that the characters the only characters that you're really introduced to is you're really introduced to Makoto to a degree, not even quite, but like you have a better feeling for who she is, uh, Koharu and Sarada. That is it, right? You're you're kind of you kind of only have a feeling for these sets of characters because they did a lot of the common route with them. They did a little bit more, you know, with uh, figuring out rooming and stuff like that, right? So you kind of have an idea a little bit how they approach things but not too much for everybody else, right? You kind of had one, two, maybe three interactions with most of the other characters. Mm -hmm. Especially here, Ron. Ron, you've kind of just been thrown into, right? I think that's what the prompt was at the very beginning, was like, hey, uh, if you don't play one of the other routes, then Ron's not gonna get introduced, right? Uh, the little tidbit that they had before, you, uh, before we clicked on Nanami's route. I think that's probably what it was. So now it looks like Ron's kind of just showed up out of thin air. But not really, because they also kind of mentioned that they're like, yeah, there's other people on the ship. Uh, but they're pretty content with doing this because they know that having questions like this also doesn't matter if you're... Not, like, what I mean by that is that if you constantly only bring up questions and you never bring answers up until the very end, it gets really frustrating. But if you do this steady, like, question, answer, question, answer sort of process, which takes a lot of work in writing. I'm not trying to make it sound easy and I'm not trying to make it sound like, uh, oh, you should just do this and then your writing problems are solved. Um, it's very hard to do this in a way that's interesting. You have to constantly keep in thought what is being revealed, why is being revealed, is it important for now or for later, etc, etc. But it does do a lot of good for, for keeping interest. 
because I am immediately what we're on stream two. Oops, sorry. We're on stream two, right? We're on stream two. We're like an hour into the stream, and I am pretty invested. I'm gonna have to say, I want to know what's happening. I'd even say, like, as much as I liked Suarez beginning, I think Olympia Suarez took a little it you needed a little bit more than the common route to sort of i think you got interest in characters rather than interest for story out of the common route which is good you know like that's that is a way that you can use the common route i'm not saying that's wrong or bad in any sort of way but you man you are like really like you're really at least me personally i really like get into the story we're sub four hours into playing this game and i am like wow i am like really interested in what's happening and immediately also you're like what you're we played for like maybe two hours maybe two and a half three hours and you already get that decision of splitting the story so now i'm like where what's going on here like you're left we basically left makoto to go do something else and she's the one who actually saw the damage in your brain you're like what did makoto see that nanami didn't see right or nanami and ron didn't see